What's going on everybody? All right, so this video here is what you're gonna see is the 2014 new reviewer Christmas collaboration So I'm actually located here in downtown Toronto here at Nathan Phillips Square got the beautiful Christmas tree in the background Including the skating rink. So what you're gonna see in this video is new reviewers that came out this year uh, Except for myself, of course, and also I have to get two friends of mine. So I'm not the creator or the originator of this idea my little brother Joe Anthony is so I definitely had to ask Joe to be a part but I also asked one of my, my one of my personal friends who I find is one of the top guys in the, in the community um, I'm gonna let that be a surprise but thank you very much so what I'm gonna be wearing this holiday season is unfortunately I do have to work minus Christmas Day and New Year's Day as well so my work scent is gonna be Versace man it's got a pipe based tobacco note uh, very nice it's definitely an under the radar fragrance and this one here reminds me more of the holidays than the infamous Burberry London and that is Creed original Santal that cinnamon is just so nice it reminds me a lot more of the festive season so those are my two picks again thank you to everybody watching Joe you're what's going on everybody Joe here today first want to say a huge shout out to my bro Chad thanks for that Chad all right my three options i have one indie one designer one niche my niche tom ford's plum japanese cinnamon plum vanilla oud incense saffron really 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 good stuff you need to check this one out great for the holiday season my designer is a very underrated still continues to be underrated giorgio armani armani code ultimate aka code u um, Tonka, Anise, Bergamot, Fresh, Spicy, check this one out. You're doing yourself a disservice if you don't. I am serious. This is great stuff. And finally, for the indie side, House of Matriarchs Gateways. Chocolate, Vanilla, Vetiver, Tobacco, um, Oud. And I mean, this thing is a gourmand that's not really a gourmand because it's not that sweet. So anybody who doesn't like gourmands for being sweet, this one is one you should check out because it's not sweet at all. Give all three of these a look. Thank you all for watching. Enjoy the holiday season, everyone. My name's Joe and I'll see you all later. Hey guys, as far as what I'm gonna be wearing for the Christmas season, I'm gonna be starting out with Gavanchi Play Intense. This is coffee. Caramel, vanillic, very sweet, but at the same time sort of spicy, has a black pepper note. It's very good, very good for the holidays. Next up on the list is going to be for uh, daytime wear, and this is going to be Gucci Porum 2. Cinnamon, tea, very nice, very light, but great for daytime, would be perfect on a Christmas day. Next on the list is going to be from the house of Derry Mouglet, and this fragrance is called Pure Havan. What you get out of this, you get tobacco. You get um, honey, you get patchouli. It's very nice, very Christmassy, smells great. And last but not least, this wouldn't be Christmas if I didn't include this, Burberry London. Very, very good. Tobacco, cinnamon, vanilla. Very sweet, but at the same time, very comforting. And that's it, guys. Um, I just want to take the time to thank, Ch thank Chad for including me in this video. I really appreciate it. And I hope you guys have a wonderful, happy holiday. Peace. Hello, guys. Alan right here. Uh, I want to thank my friend Chad for uh, including me in this collaboration video for fragrances that uh, I'm going to be wearing these holidays. And, uh, well, I'm going to start uh, saying that the day before Christmas, I'm going to be wearing none other than my truly loved fragrance, the powerful and beautiful DHI. Then, in the family reunion, for the Christmas Eve or the party before Christmas, I'm gonna wear Barbary London. And after party, to get my house, take a shower, get ready for the bed, rock and roll time, La Nuit de Long. And then for uh, the day before New Year's, I'm gonna be wearing all day long Allure Prom by Chanel. And I'm gonna get the New Year smelling great, amazing. 24 gold for New Year's Eve. So this is my holiday fragrances. Happy holidays, guys. Bye-bye. Why, hello, fragrance community. Hi. Chicken hands. <laughs> First of all, my name is Arlene. My channel is Delicious Delights. Thank you, Chad, for letting me in on this collaboration. I think it's great. Thumbs up to you. 
Eau Duel by Diptyque. A smoky, beautiful vanilla. It makes me happy. It's yummy. And I want to eat myself every time I wear this. Second of all, we have Back to Black. This, as you all know, is a honey tobacco and it just oozes. It just oozes. That's the word. This oozes. Honey oozing from a bottle into some tea or a piece of bread or whatever. And that's how it feels on my skin. It just oozes like <laughs> I want to call this tidy whitey droppers, definitely. See you later. Hey everyone, I'm Carlos. My channel is Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Thank you very much, Chad, for inviting me to be a part of your collaboration. I'm honored and thank you. So what do I like to wear for the holidays? My favorite scent to wear for the holidays is definitely Sir Zouton's Filet in Anguille. It's um, pine and fir balsam and frankincense, some dried fruits and some spices. It's really, really good. I love this one. It holds up wonderfully in cold weather. And um, it's just one of my favorite Sir Zouton's period. This is definitely one of my favorites. It's very Christmassy, I think. The pine holds up. And it's not overly medicinal because sometimes pine can be like, like, uh, like household cleaners. But this is beautiful. And the frankincense, beautiful balance. I love this one. So if you can, check out Serge Rutan's Filet and Ongi. Hello, everyone. And um, this is a Christmas special. Thank you very much, Chad, for inviting me onto the collaboration video. And I'm quickly going to move on to the fragrances I'll be wearing over Christmas or the holidays if you're uh, over the water. Um, so first of all, my Christmas party, I will be wearing Le Maroc Portel, which is a spicy, sexy, sultry, jasmine, rose, um, incense, really gorgeous, lasts all night, really strong. So that's my party fragrance for Christmas party. And then on Christmas Eve, I will be wearing my old favourite, this is a decan, it's Intense Cafe, rose, coffee, uh, sweet, lovely, there's nothing to dislike about this, so I'll be wearing that Christmas Eve, and then on the Boxing Day I'll actually be at work, so I'm going to choose Orchidée Vanille, this is another decan, I'm hoping to get hold of a full bottle of that soon, I'll absolutely love it, really soft vanilla almost goes a bit incensey totally love this one so i wear that for comfort and i think i might have a hangover christmas day you know it might happen and then finally at the moment that is my decant of dark amber and ginger lily by joe malone i happen to have heard a rumor that santa claus is bringing me a full bottle of that on christmas day so i will be wearing that christmas day absolutely love this um, rose amber just gorgeous gorgeous fragrance from Joe Malone anyway hope you all have an amazing holidays uh, Christmas wherever you want to call it have a fabulous time thank you hey guys so first of all I want to say thank you to Chad for putting together yet another awesome collaboration so this is what I've been wearing this winter now admittedly I sample so many perfumes that I don't pull from my full bottles very often but when I do this is what I've been wearing now keep in mind that most of these are actually unisex perfumes so gentlemen listening you can definitely check out these options um, Hermes Amber Nagui, um, Serge Luton Feed the Eggy. I got in on a split of this one. I have 30 ml of um, Christian Dior Mitza, and when the temperature drops, I'm happy to be reunited with Joe Malone Dark Amber and Ginger Lily. And when I don't know what to wear, and it's always right year round, and it's always good, I wear Prada Infusion de Iris. And that is it for today. Thanks again, Chad. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, Dollars and Cents back again. Thank you, Chad, for inviting me to be on this compilation for uh, winter fragrances, uh, holiday fragrances or whatever. 
Uh, I'm just gonna got a quick little list here. Got three that I've been wearing a lot over Thanksgiving and uh, Christmas, and uh, two of them I believe are niche. One's niche for sure. I believe this other one might be a designer, uh, but it's an EDP. So, and the last one is a designer. So for my for my first designer that I'm wearing in the winter of 2014, it's gonna be Spice Bomb. Everybody knows this one. I uh, got a little bit of cinnamon, uh, pink pepper, and bergamot, uh, and some tobacco and some others. But this is a uh, still a favorite of mine. Uh, I'm sure it's still a favorite with all you other guys. My next one up is a new one that I really, really like. Uh, this one has uh, a lot of cloves and cinnamon and sandalwood mainly. Uh, to me, whenever you first spray it, it smells like uh, Jack Daniels whiskey, but it's really, really nice. Really, It's not for everybody, but it's really, really nice. It is Costume National Ohm. This stuff's really nice. I've, uh, I've I've sold a bunch of decants from this because everyone's been wanting to try it, and that's fine because I still have about fi uh, you know fifty mils left. So, but you guys should get your hands on this one, try it out if anything. And last but not least, um, uh, so far I've been all about the cinnamon fragrances, uh, and I'm gonna go with uh, another favorite of mine. It's expensive and not for everybody, but I really really liked it. it took me a while to get it. But this is uh, cinnamon, cloves, and vanilla are the main players in this one. That is Musk Ravageur. Yes, again, uh, it was a hype monster, but I do like it. Medicinal and all. The medicinal smell, I really, really enjoy it. And uh, But really, is this, it is a dry down that I really enjoy. The vanilla is really nice. So those are my three winter fragrances. You guys, Merry Christmas and uh, Happy Holidays and all that good stuff. Take care of yourselves and on to the next reviewer. Thanks. Hello, Alexis Montalvo here. And I don't have much time. So for the day, I'm going to use one million. This is my compliment getter. And... I like it very much. For that night, for Christmas, I'm gonna use Tom Ford Noir de Noir. This one is chocolate, rose, sexy, dark. I like it, I like it. Oof. And for say Happy New Year, I'm gonna use another one from Tom Ford. Tom Ford Tobacco Ani. So, that's it. Thank you. Hey YouTube, Eugene here. Hope you guys are all well. Christmas is soon upon us, and with Christmas means lots of Christmas parties. Uh, I'll be looking to wear the exact same thing as I did last year to my son's school Christmas concert, and uh, looking to fill the gymnasium with the sexiest silage I know. That's going to be something rich, warm, and flirtatious. And that would be Coco Chanel. Boys, don't be alarmed. The day of the fragrance gender is in the past. Let's leave it there. Come Christmas Day, I'm going to be looking to wear something heavy. And uh, that something's going to be also very rich, very woody, uh, very spicy with notes of cinnamon, clove, nutmeg, very reminiscent of Christmas. Also, another favorite of mine, guys from the House of Frederick Mall, Please check this one out. Don't let it fly under the radar. Noir Epice. This is Christmas in a bottle. Fragrance community, the best community in the whole entire world. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year, have a safe holiday, and we'll see you soon. Hello there ladies and gents, I am the Fragrance of Price and happy holidays to you all. Uh, I'm very excited to be here, uh, part of Chad's collaboration which I'm going to highlight to you one of the fragrances that I'm going to be wearing uh, this holiday season. Now please bear in mind that the holiday season is not necessarily the whole of winter, in fact it's quite a short amount of winter, so you can wear something that doesn't necessarily have to be as strong or as potent uh, throughout the whole of the season. And that's why I'm going to be picking Rochas Man from the house of Rochas. I've got a review of this coming up very uh, very soon and uh, so I'll explain a bit more in detail why I love it so much but for me just briefly this encapsulates the warmth and the coziness of the holiday season you know the closeness of being around your family and loved ones. So there you go Rochas man from the house of Rochas. See you again. Hey Chad what's going on man? You asked me to do this, so here it goes. Uh, these are my fragrances that I'll be wearing uh, for the holidays. So let's get to it. I only got 60 seconds. All right, first up, we got here, we have Id, Indeed Rosa. You guys seen it before. Cinnamon stick, beautiful fragrance, sweet cinnamon. I'll be wearing this most likely through November 
Thanksgiving time. Bam. Next up, I'll be wearing Javois Amber Premier. Very good fragrance. Amber, sweet, syrupy, beautiful warm fragrance. Most likely December, Christmas time. Next up, my beautiful masterpiece, Bodicea Victorious Nemur. I'll be wearing that for my birthday, always. Last but not least, Clive Christian, number one. Always on New Year's. All right, I'm out. What's up guys, Jeremy here. Channel name, Jeremy Fragrance. And my winter discovery is this one here. Jeremy Fragrance. <laughs> no, Kilian's Back to Black. That's the name of this amazing fragrance. And to say it with Lupe's words, shout out to Lupe Experience. This fragrance is just to die for, you know. He's so enthusiastic about it. I had to discover this fragrance. I had to smell it. And seriously, guys, it's so amazing. The perfect scenario for this fragrance. You, get, you know, guys. You're with your girlfriend in the Alps, it's ice cold, snow, you're in the mountains, you have one single house in the mountains, you and her, you're playing around in the snow, you're having fun, you're grabbing her, you're picking her up, you go back to the house, you have your fireplace on, and then you snuggle, you cuddle with her, and that's the fragrance she's gonna smell. This is the ultimate seduction in the super, super winter time, because this smells like heavy honey like wah, you know it's very very seductive and heavy and sweet nothing for the summer obviously nothing for the spring and i don't even say this is for the fall not because you cannot wear it in the fall it won't be cloying but it just fits this ice cold scenario you know cuddling don't do anything just cuddle with your girl and that's it all right that's it guys Next review. Hey, what's up, Chad? What's up, everybody? Note Punch is back with my holiday picks that I'm gonna be wearing this holidays. Well, I got two fragrances today. The first one is John Varvatos Vintage. John Varvatos Vintage, it's a very holiday scent to me. With the tobacco, suede, and the rhubarb. Very warm and sophisticated. I personally love it. I know it doesn't last long, but that's why I always carry a decant with me. My second pick, it's 24 Gold. Another warm holiday scent to me. With the oud, amber, vanilla, raspberry, and the list goes on. 24 Gold always put me in a good mood. And I'm planning on meeting Santa wearing it this year. So this is it guys, I wish everybody Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays and Peace. Thanks Chad for having me. My choice for the fragrance I can't live without this holiday season would be a fragrance I consider to be the best release this year. And that is uh, the designer fragrance by Michael Kors and it's Michael Kors for Men. The notes for this fragrance are star anise, incense, patchouli, alemi, suede, coriander, thyme, pepper, woods, bergamot, sage, sandalwood, and musk. It really is a very beautiful fragrance that is sophisticated and fits right in with the holiday spirit. It's good for work, for play, for evening, for formal. It's just all around wonderful, and I'm going to be rocking it this holiday season. And it isn't Christmas without my favorite Christmas drink, which is a Bellini. Cheers! Hello, Fred Comics. For Tidiana, bring bringing another collab video, this time with Chad. Uh, these are going to be basically my top picks for the Christmas season, um, holidays actually, uh, for the next two weeks what I'm going to be rocking uh, during uh, Christmas, holiday parties, um, and New Year's, New Year's Eve, and New Year's Day. So uh, stay tuned. Thank you so much, Chad, for putting this together. This is very nice. And now on with the picks, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Okay guys, so on with the picks. These are the fragrances that I'm going to be rocking this, this holiday season. Um, reaching for the most, starting here from right to left. Uh, T for Two by Lactis and Befumé. This is very cozy, very inviting, beautiful, spicy, um, with tea notes, unbelievable fragrance. Parfums de Marley, Herod, Masterpiece, needs no introduction. It's like three fragrances into one, like Back to Black, Tobacco Vanille, and uh, Thierry Mugler's uh, Pure Vaughn. 
And then you have one here, if you're in a budget and you want to smell fantastic, this is like Dior Homme Meats Jubilation 25, Mamba Zim Generation M. You cannot go wrong. And last but not least, Gucci MV, when Gucci did fragrances right, this is also another masterpiece. Phenomenal fragrance. Thank you for watching, guys. I'll talk to you guys soon. What up, what up? It's Mike the Cologne Guy back with another uh, collaboration video with a bunch of different reviewers. My buddy Chad putting a, a great piece together, trying to get everybody together. It is a season for giving. It is a season to be with your family and friends. I hope you guys take care of each other. You guys have a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holiday. I was asked to uh, see what I would reach for the holidays, something that I would enjoy during the holidays. And this is something that I would reach for in the holidays. It does have... A lot of negativity uh, going around as far as longevity and projection, but for me, this lasts all day. It, you gotta actually shower to take this off of you. This is Dolce Cabana, the one. Very smoky, tobacco y smell. It's very spicy. It's something that's gonna keep that holiday spirit warm. Something that's really gonna enjoy the, the, the cuddle weather when you're out there in the winter and you wanna just get warm and spicy. Something that's gonna get that girl closer to you. I really enjoy doing these collaboration videos. I hope you enjoy me and giving you my presentation. You guys have a happy holiday and a Merry Christmas. Hi everyone, Tom from Port Monsieur. Chad, thanks for inviting me over. Um, I love winter time and the holidays, so I can wear some of my favorites like the Teak's Volute, a biscuity honey iris with um, a little bit of tobacco and a lot of incense. A nice jumper scent, um, cozy when you're by yourself. Um, it's my second favorite rock inspired scent, you've guessed it, is uh, Shergi, which uh, is probably going to be my Christmas Eve scent. Um, just a cozy tobacco scent, uh, a lot richer and sweeter. Uh, has a warmth about it, which um, uh, people want to be around you, which is what you want. You want to be cozy by the fireplace, don't you? Um, and for that sense of occasion, that richness um, uh, and that celebratory mood, I think winter time's perfect uh, more than any other time for Amouage's Reflection Man. The spice of vetiver, patchouli, and rosemary come out to play. The back seat goes to the white florals, um, which some people find too much, um, and just works best. Um, so, with that in mind, happy holidays, everyone. Pop on my channel. Chad, over to you. Bye. What's popping, y'all? Roger Real Deep Cool, gonna give you what I'm wearing for the winter. Real quick, I got 60 seconds, not a lot of talking, but a lot of showing. In no particular order, Rose 31, okay. Imaginary Authors, Cape Heartache. Shea and Blue, Uda Leaf. Roja Dove, Creation E. Nasa Model Pardon and Doro. Naomi Good Sirs, Cure Valores. Amwaj, Epic Woman, Spices, Cinnamon, and some rolls again. And last but not least, the Killer Rolls, that's what does it all the time. Duetto from Suspiro. That's what I'm wearing. Hopefully, y'all wearing some lovely juice too. Happy holidays to you and the family. Be blessed. Keep yourself away from the rest. Keep down the foolishness and keep it heavily. I'm out. How's your boy? Pass it on to the next reviewer. Go ahead, give it to that guy right there. I'm out, Chad. Peace, man. Thanks. Fragrance family, how's everybody doing? This is your friend and reviewer, Rio Cappuccino. Today, I'm going to give you guys my 2014 slash 2015 holiday scent, what I'll be wearing this Christmas, this coming New Year's. Um, well, probably New Year's is still in the air, but definitely this Christmas. You guys already know it. No introduction. Um, by the house of Armani, this is Armani Code Ultimate. Um, everybody wanted a little bit of that Tonka bean in the original. Well, it came back with this bad boy. Guys, check it out. Sweet, smooth Tonka bean. Um, I'm sure it's it's making a hit with a lot of people. It definitely made it with me. Um, so check it out, guys. Um, also, I want to actually uh, thank Chad, the reviewers, uh, viewers for supporting us. Uh, means a lot. I hope everybody has a prosperous holiday. Uh, play it safe. Your boy Rio, I'm out of here. Scentland, the land of scent. Hi, it's Chris. Um, welcome everyone. Uh, have a very Merry Christmas time. Uh, what have I chosen uh, as far as fragrances go for the festive days? Uh, I've kept it very simple. Nothing niche, nothing expensive. But something for the day. Um, and something for the night. The day fragments, a crisp, 
green, sharp, wonderful fragrance, Tommy Tam, that keeps you on your toes. Uh, it's like playing out there in the snow. Um, it's fantastic, invigorating, great, sharp, green, fresh citric notes. Totally adore this fragrance. And for the time under the Christmas tree, um, which is the, the partner for this fragrance, it's this baby. 1881 Black, Nino Cerruti. Uh, fantastic, great marzipan note. Very cozy, very nice, very warm, very delicious. For, for the dinner, you know, the time under the Christmas tree. So the night fragrance, the day fragrance. Have a very Merry Christmas time and see you all next year. Bye bye. Hello, this is Stefan and I want to thank Chad for letting me be part of this collaboration again. So I chose my uh, picks for the holiday winter season 2014 and for uh, casual and cozy situations. This is by Killian's Back to Black. It's a honey tobacco scent, very sweet but also very sensual. For going out, I chose Oud Café by Mancera. This is an oud uh, and coffee uh, combination that is very strong and lasts a very good amount of time so that it's perfect for going out. And for um, formal going out situations, this is a uh, Garlin Ensemble Mythique d'Orient. This is um, an incense rose fragrance. It is very different from your typical incense fragrances. So it's um, good for going out uh, if it's formal. So thank Chad and on to the next reviewer. Bye. Hey everyone, it's Ashley from Thrifty Chica and I just wanted to say thanks Chad for including me in this collaboration. Um, I just want to show you guys a couple of my favorite you know, fragrances for the holidays. The first one is going to be Madeleine Viennese signature fragrance and this one is a great oriental floral with ylang ylang with a balsamic undertone. This one has kind of a surprise ingredient as well um, with the myrrh that's included and I feel like that makes it a definite holiday fragrance. It just fits with that kind of spicy, you know, warm, sweet kind of theme for the holidays. And that's definitely a great one for family members and get-togethers. If you're going for something a little bit more formal, I would definitely recommend uh, Vintage Shalimar. And this one is a great one just because of the vanilla resinous, you know, smokiness with a little powdery undertone. I feel like you can't go wrong with like a powdery iris, you know, to feel a little bit more dressed up and special. Plus the incense and the leather gives it a little bit something extra. So I hope you guys enjoy my recommendations. Bye! Hey everyone, uh, so before I get this video started, I just want to say thank you to Chad, the everyday man, for getting this video together. And yeah, so the fragrances that I'm going to be wearing this holiday season, I'm going to be wearing Spiritu Double Veni by Guerlain, Guerlain, or whatever. Uh, oops, okay, and then I'm also going to be wearing Musk Ravageur by Frederick Mall. And I'm also going to be wearing... Molecule 01 by Eccentric Molecules because I'm going to review this and like I promised now that I have time. Anyway, I hope everybody has a great holiday season and I will talk to you guys later. Hey there viewers, this is RJ from Up Close and Personal. First of all, I would like to thank Chad for putting this amazing collaboration video together. Buddy, you're the best. For this video, I will only be mentioning three fragrances which I would like to put in the spotlight. You may check out my channel for an extended video where I will be talking about my favorite fragrances for the winter, all the colder weather months. To start off, this is the fragrance which is the least known out of the three and it is no other than Ipta A from Michel Muzaffar Itaji. To make a long story short, in my opinion, this is the Middle Eastern rugged version of Hermes's Ombre Nargile. Second is Kalimat Black from Arabian Oud. And last and probably least is my favorite, Fusion Sacre Louis from Mashta Bekali. Wishing you all the best life has to offer. Signing off to the next reviewer. Hi there and welcome. Thank you so much. I am so pleased and delighted to take part in this collaboration. First of all, I'd like to offer for your consideration Serge Luton's Santal Majuscule, a wonderful woodsy, aromatic, cacao, rose, sandalwood fragrance that I think is most suited and will serve you very well during the holidays. I know it will serve me. Next, I have for you 
guess. I'm sure you all already have. It is Tobacco Vanille by Tom Ford, and it's part of their private blend. Um, I'm sure very well known, very well loved. I'm with you on that. I absolutely adore this fragrance. I think that this is a wonderful holiday choice. Uh, there you have it, my two selections for the holiday season. Thank you so much. Hey Fratcom, Freddie here. Part of this great collaboration put together by Chad, so thank you Chad, and thank you to all the other members uh, that are participating in this collaboration. I'm sitting here drinking on some Coquito. It's like a Spanish drink that has, is mainly made for the holiday time. It's different types of milk, uh, condensed milk, coconut milk, uh, cinnamon and rum, some other stuff in there, I'm not sure. But it's delicious, so toast to everyone, happy holidays. Oh, so good. But getting back to my picks. Now, let's start off with number 28 from Tokyo Milk Dark Excess. It's a nice sweet patchouli. Uh, not overbearing. I can wear this to work. I love it. It does the job. It's inexpensive. And it's, it's a very smooth and great fragrance. Now, on the other realm of it, here you have Rock Bar, which is a beast. Um, this is another beautiful gem, not too expensive. Um, it reminds me of 24 Gold. And I also had a Zhezhov Casamarati that smelled like it as well, which is um, Bouquet Ideli or Idel. It, um, it smelled very similar. A difference in quality a little bit, but for the most part, it smelled almost identical. Therefore, I got rid of the, the higher end just because it didn't make sense to have it. They're that close. Um, smell good. Both smell well. Very good. Then I have Opus 6 from Armoage. Beautiful amber fragrance. Always a beast. A few sprays. You're good to go. And um, last but not least, the scent that got me to Fredcom, YSL's Body Kuros. M medicinal, sweet, versatile or at the same time get your hands on these thanks thanks again see you guys soon off to the next guy peace hey everyone top 10 frags here and thank you to chad for inviting me to be in the video so i'm going to get cracking on this uh, i've got four fragrances four fragrances and i've got two freshies that you can wear uh, well, I can wear that's strong on me <coughs> in the winter, and two of your darker, stronger fragrances. There's going to be a cheapy in each one, and there's going to be a slightly more expensive in each one. So let's get into this. The first freshy cheapy is 1881, the original. Just your general, uh, <coughs> clean, soapy. Slightly citrusy fragrance, really cheap, it can be really cheap. It's quite strong, it lasts a good length of time. And the more expensive is Terre de Hermes, the EDP by Hermes. Dirty orange, uh, dries down to a lovely sweet um, blood orange, but really lasts quite a long time. <coughs> um, moving on to the cheapy dark. Fragrances, Ted Lapidus, Pour On, Absolute Masterpiece, and Cheapest Chips, and of course, my ultimate favourite, you can wear this pretty much in any sort of cold weather, it's really cold, uh, or whatever, yeah, Serge Litton, <coughs> Shergi, my opinion, probably the best niche fragrance that I, I own. So that's it guys, thank you for watching, and we'll move over to the next. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Coach Rob619 here. Glad to be a part of another collaboration, this Christmas collaboration. You're probably wondering what the hell I got on. Well, in a few moments, I'm going to go to a um, ugly sweater Christmas party, um, second annual one that my, one of my partners has been throwing. So I'm trying to win it this year. So I think, you know, I got the outfit to pull it off. So um, hopefully I win that. But anyway, <clears throat> the purpose of this video is just to share something that um, I like to wear 
during the holiday season. And um, pretty much I start grabbing this fragrance around Thanksgiving, um, Christmas time. Puts me in a you know a festive mood. And that fragrance is Serge Luton's Five O'Clock Giambre. My camera's not picking it up. It has a small font right there. But anyway, this is a great fragrance for me for the holidays. Um, basically, the name says it all. Ginger based fragrance. Smells similar to um, what a lot of people say. Smells similar to a um, gingerbread cookie. But what I get more, I get more of a uh, chai tea. It has a subtle spice, a uh, nice tea note in there um, in the background. And you do get that prominent gingerbread uh, ginger snap cookie kind of vibe. So ginger snap cookies and tea is what you get to this. And it just has a real festive, you know, um, Thanksgiving, Christmas, like a holiday um, vibe going on. So I normally wear this on Thanksgiving and Christmas or just somewhere around that season. Check this one out, guys. Great one. Sir Luton's 5 o'clock on Giambre. Peace. All right, guys, that's it. So that is the, the 2014 New Reviewer Christmas collaboration. Uh, Joe, Rob, thank you so very much for being a part of it. Thank you to all the new reviewers for participating as well. If you haven't done so, guys, please subscribe to them. Their channel links will be in the description box below. Merry Christmas. If you don't celebrate Christmas, happy holidays. Uh, happy New Year. Let's make 2015 the best year in this community yet. All right. Thanks again. Talk to you later. Happy New Year. Take